Hey, shalom, shalom, when the stuff so is about giving no praise to you, but Shem Mel Shab, Shem Akar Kodash, double honesty, apostles of JMS, and honesty, brothers, doing the work of the most on truth and in sincerity. I don't know where this is going to end up. I'm just something I was, you know, meditating on earlier on in the morning. It's basically, you know, on this concept that there is no such thing as equality, uh, you know, even among men. Okay. Uh, so this is First Corinthians 11 and 3 says, But I'll have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is, uh, is Yahweh. Okay, so hey, everything uh, would require, everything is done decently and in order, man. Right, so, the, you know, in terms of the hierarchy, you've got Yahweh, and you've got Yahweh Shai, right, and you've got the men. When even amongst that there is a hierarchy because you have uh, King David, right? You have um, I'll scrub that. You got King David. This is Habakkuk, not Habakkuk, Hosea three and five. Is it? Yeah, it's Hosea three and five. It says after shall the children of Israel return and seek Yahweh their power and David their king shall fear Yahweh and his goodness in the latter days. All right, so. Once again, you've got Yahweh, you've got Yahweh Shai, right? You've got King David and the Twelve, right? It's King David, um, you've got the Twelve uh, Apostles, right? Um, and then you've got the 144,000, and then you've got the rest of Israel, okay? Um, so let's grab that in Matthew 19 also. It says, uh, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee, what shall we have therefore, so I'll read the Matthew nineteen twenty seven verse twenty eight, where it says, and um, and Yahweh shall said unto hit unto them, verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, so uh, uh they uh, the 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 twelve are gonna have their lot, right? They're gonna have their lot and their position. But why? Because hey, the Lord is all about um, everything being done decently and in order. All right, it says 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. All right, and what does the scriptures also say? Um, uh, that's a Matthew 6. I don't know why I just got Matthew 6. This is Matthew 6 and 10, right? This is in the Lord's prayer. It says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Okay? So everything in heaven is done, is, is, is in order. It's not like down here where everything is out of order. Everything is out of whack. But why is everything out of whack? Why is this? Um, why do you have a situation where parents uh, make themselves equal to their children? Why do you, uh, you know, why do you have <clears throat> situations where you make, where you get women making themselves equal to their men or above their men, right? Why? Because the wicked is in rulership. Okay, so it says Isaiah twenty nine and sixteen, which says, "Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Who shall the work say of him that made it? He made me not. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it? He had no understanding." Right, so. Uh, so you're turning things upside. So you're you're truly you're turning of things upside down. Should be esteemed as a pot is clear. Let's actually look up that word esteemed. To plant, interpret, to weave, to think, plan, esteem, calculate, invent, make a judgment. To be counted as to be thought. Right? To think upon, to be considered. Right. So truly you're turning of things upside down. Should be considered as a pot is clay. Right. So what does a potter do with this clay? He makes whatever he wants from it. Where you read that example of that in Romans the ninth chapter, where it speaks about um, a, 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 a vessel of honor, one vessel of honor, one vessel unto honor, one vessel unto dishonor. I believe it's Romans the ninth chapter, okay? Because at the end of the day, with a lump of clay, you can make a, 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 a toilet bowl or you can make dinner plates, right? It just depends on what the potter decides to do. But then was it saying, so for shall the works of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the works of him that framed it, he, he had no understanding. Basically, 
ultimately coming down to who who are you to try and say, um, you know, the Lord didn't know what he was doing. Now, the Lord knew what he was doing when he set up the order. The scripture is saying um, in a couple of places, ones that come to mind is all throughout Genesis when the scripture is saying that, um, and the power saw it was good. And you've got uh, uh, Sirach, uh, the book of Sirach, the 33rd chapter, basically saying, um, or, you know, which I not even based as I found, let me just grab it. Oh, is it th it's the 39th chapter, isn't it? This is Sirach 39, 33. All the works of the Lord are good and will give every needful thing in due season. Right, so everything that the Lord has made in its in its righteous order, okay, that is, you know, the, the Lord the Lord knew what He was doing. Where now, what's Esau come and done? Esau has come and he's flipped everything around. We like we said, we just read that in um Isaiah twenty nine sixteen, right, and then also he creates legislation to put these things more and more in, in into um, you know, into into uh, basically giving them power. Okay, because at the end of the day, all of these things that uh, have messed up this world, that have defiled this world, right, and, you know, making equality amongst people and amongst things that shouldn't be equal, right, that has, yeah, even even making, putting Jake as equals to Esau, that was going off, right, why? Because we are, we are the apple of the Lord's, are we, are, we are the Israelites, man, right, Um, this is a crazy, uh, where is that? And in fact, even in in doing that, it wasn't even um, it wasn't even true equality, right? Because he's still in the power seat. Okay, so Deuteronomy seven and six says, "For thou art ho thou art unholy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself above all that are upon the face of the earth." So the children of Israel above everyone that is on the face of planet Earth. Okay, and that's just the way it is. That's like, hey, people be like, oh, but what? If, hey, look, man, hey, just accept it, right? And then if you're one of the other nations, look, man, just be happy you're not an Edomite. And if you're an Edomite, then that's too bad. You've had your time, right? You served your purpose, okay? So Esau's done all of these different things to make, a, once again, to give the illusion of equality. Because we know, we know Esau doesn't view us as equals to himself, Right, because this is Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. It says, I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Right, and that is our position at the moment, right? We're the princes. I saw us, our, us, our surname, Yasha Allah, he prince power, right? So we're walking on this earth as, 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 as servants whilst he's in the power seat. But it's okay, right? Because the earth has been given into his hand and we just have to endure this chastisement for a little while longer because we can see. Um, you know, the Lord's basically uh, set everything up so that we can be delivered uh, um, you know, very, very soon. OK, so despite the fact that Esau has, uh, you know, given the idea that we're equals, he doesn't believe that. When he will write all of these things down and write them all up in his laws. Right. Uh, a, 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 as a form of witchcraft, really. Because at the end of the day. Jake shouldn't be aiming for equality with his with Esau when we're better than him. We you know we just read that. It says um, Isaiah ten and one more to them that decree unrighteous decree. So to put Israel and Esau and say oh you know let everyone be joined together and and all be equals that's that's madness man. That's madness. Why they the scriptures ain't about equality. Between the races, between between the men, right? Between the Israelite men, there 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 there's gonna be, and as I said, there's an order, right? From Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Yahweh Shai on down, right? Everything is about order. It says, "Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed." Right, so all of these decrees, you know, saying this person's equal to that person, this group is equal to that group. And because Esau was saying people with mental, uh, severe mental illnesses are, are equal to the rest of us in society, which is madness, right? And you don't need me to um, uh, 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 explain what, I'm, what I mean by people with severe mental illnesses, right? 
you should read Romans 1. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, right? Those people, Esau tries to put them in, in, in league with, with the rest of us. When in our kingdom, right? We, oh, in ancient Israel, someone like that, they would have been, um, they would have received the recompense of their error, which was me, as the scriptures say, right? But this is a this is all to do with, you know, what does this all uh, um, culminate? And this all culminates in Esau basically creating a world that needs to be destroyed, right? Because this is um, uh, this is Second uh, Peter two and six is in turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. Making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly, right? So here it is. Esau had the example of Sodom and Gomorrah, and you know what he did? He just cast it behind him, right? As as uh, as as the devil would do. So Psalms fifteen and sixteen. When it loads. It says, but unto the wicked, the most I saith, what is thou to do to declare my statutes? Or oh, that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. So here it is, Esau cast the words uh, of the Lord behind him. Right here is for one, the scriptures say in that Romans 15 and 4, whatsoever things were written afore, some were written for our learning. So we read through these scriptures, right, and we see what the Lord has done before, we get excited, we fear. He saw reads these scriptures and he doesn't it, it doesn't do anything. So any wise man who has read and, and has the evidence of the scriptures, uh, reading them and um uh uh uh, uh you know proving the va the validity of the scriptures to then bring about the, the kind of kingdom that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, right? That is uh, uh, uh that is um that's a madman. <laughs> that is something an Edomite would do, right? I was trying to think of, the, you know, a better way of framing it, but that's good enough, okay? So in all of this ideals of equality, what is what is basically Esau done? He's basically created a society um, that needs to be destroyed. He's created a group of people that, that need protection from him, that go to him uh, uh, for, for, for protection and everything. Right, so that in these last days, what's he gonna do with them? He's gonna discard them. Right? He's gonna get rid of them because he doesn't want them anyway. Why? Because he is the wicked, right? So to continue on in the world which he made, right? He's gonna require certain things of people. Why right? it's not the one I want? Oh my, Isaiah thirty-one. Right, because at the end of the day, if you've got a you know an alphabet person. Right, if you've got uh, a Jake, you know, Jake constantly going up to Esau, begging Esau for help, right? If you've got a um, a woman, right, you just constantly having to run to the, the powers that be, I'm hoping and, and uh, for them to, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't speak. Uh, basically going to the, you know, to the powers that be, you know, to enforce the equality from them. Right, so Esau basically created a society where basically people are constantly uh, uh, in need of him, right? Coming to him for answers, coming to him for help. Right, so Isaiah thirty one it says, um, and, and from the tops of the world to them that go down to Egypt for help, right? Egypt being America, right? And stand horse and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the holy one of Israel, neither seek uh, seek Yahweh. Right, for instance, so going back on, you know, in the case of uh, equality between uh, uh, the races, as Esau tries to, to make out there is, okay, we don't do that. If we see an Edomite get hired before we do, despite the Edomite being less equipped, we don't care. This is his kingdom. We understand this, right? But then you get our, our fellow Israelite, when he sees that, He's getting all messed up. He's like, oh, no, I can't believe it. it's still 2020. This is still happening. Well, it, it, it ain't fair. Right? Destruction unto that particular individual because you are trusting in Esau. You are trusting in someone who hasn't got your best interests at heart. In fact, you're trusting in someone that's trying to kill you. 
you're trusting in someone that's basically made you uh, already a, a slave unto it, right? And in fact, also me that goes back to the curses. It says in Deuteronomy 28, chapter shall go to this man in one of all things, right? So no matter what it is, we have to go to Esau for it, right? But the difference being that the elect, they're going to have faith in Yah Bashem Yahusha. So when Esau starts closing down this society, as we can see him doing right now, right? We're not going to be running to him. Right, but everyone that has trusted in his ideals, his philosophies, in fact, let me grab that, right, because the quality, that is a philosophy. Is Habakkuk 2 to 15? Right, it says Habakkuk 2 15, more unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, and this is representing philosophies, okay? The destruction unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that, that puts his thigh bottle to him and makes them drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness, right? Yeah, so a hey, one to him that giveth his neighbor drink, man. Right, all of these different philosophies. That's what this this devil's been doing. Uh, uh, but a hey, scriptures say this: the deceived and the deceiver are his. Okay, so now that you Jakes are gonna be all, you know, trusting and you know begging Esau for everything as you've been doing, right? When it comes to this. You just go and go along with it, right? So Revelation 13, 16 says, And he calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? This mark here is talking about the RF, RFID markership. That is the mark of the beast, right? It says, And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay, so without this RFID markership, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. Right, but if you once again, if you believe all up in Esau's, uh, you know, democracy, his equality, this, that, and the other, more than likely you gonna get chipped, man. You gonna get chipped if if you're the kind of a uh, um, uh, uh, a man, right? That's you know that will refer to himself as a feminist. You damn sure gonna get chipped. If you're the kind of man that will back the alphabet people, you damn sure gonna get chipped, lest you repent. Right, there's a Lord. Has mercy and, and, and opens your eyes Right Like I said I didn't, didn't really know where that was going to go um, You know I hope, hope that was edifying You know in this world of equality it, 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 it's, it's up man It's up man Why? Because there ain't even equality amongst men There ain't equality amongst tribes There ain't equality hey, Even in Israel you've got the head tribe man you know, You've got Jude which is the head tribe Okay and equality amongst all the Israelites, man. You, you know, you said you got you know Yahweh, you got Yahweh Shai, you got King David, right? You got the apostles, right? Hundred and forty four thousand, the elect, and you got the rest of Israel, man. Okay, so as always, Lord's all those edifying to the next time. Shalom.